All right, guys, welcome back to the trailer build. We are on episode four here, which means we're going to work on the uh, hitch assembly. We have the axle in place from last episode, and now we're going to work on this sucker. So um, currently it's the pinto hitch. I didn't like it. Um, like I talked about, I had the lock and roll is what we're going to be replacing it with. I just don't like the, um, the, the back and forth and the, the loose play that you get with these, these pencil hitches. It's loud and it just, it's not the best system. I mean, it's bulletproof um, as far as why they put it on military vehicles and um, you can, you get all the advantages that you get with the lock and roll with just less parts and pieces to uh, get broken. But I'm not in the military anymore. I don't need to worry about that stuff. So um, we're going with the uh, lock and roll system. And uh, in order to do so, we're going to have to remove some hardware here. So we have to remove this, uh, this bolt here holds on the chain assembly. But then there's also some bolts here on either side for um, the actual pinto portion. And getting to them is going to be the trick. So you can easily get to these uh, bolts. But inside there, once I remove this, um, it, I don't know if there's enough room between the bolt and the actual face of this uh, metal, but we're gonna find out. So we'll knock this pin out and then uh, get to welding. I was actually a little worried um, originally that if once I took this thing out that the, uh, the frame wasn't going to be supported but realizing that I mean this thing's welded off at a number of places to the frame itself so it's not going anywhere there's no real I mean there's a little there's a little flexion there but uh, we should be good um, Obviously, the reason I'm concerned is just making sure everything's still square for my measurements on the axle, but... Um, Alright, so this is what we're doing. Sucker's getting welded to this right here. Um, I'll do a weld on either side, this side, that side, and then I have another piece of uh, flat bar that we'll uh, put on the top here, weld off another piece, and then possibly enclose this, and then weld off the side. So it should be more than sufficient to uh, get the job done. But uh, here we go. All right, well the uh, welding is complete and I think we have something that's gonna work. I'm not, uh, I'm not winning any uh, awards with my welding, but um, it's, it's structurally sound. At least uh, there's enough weld there to make sure, <laughs> make that effect. Um, I also threw on the lock and roll um, pin here, tightened her up, so we are ready to go. I started thinking about all the the building and every all the fabbing that I'm gonna have to do to get this thing ready, and um, realizing that first things first, I need to get the thing um, legal and registered. Um, to be honest with you, so in Arizona here, you can either have permanent plates or you know like uh, travel trailer type plates. The only way you can get permanent plates, or if it's kind of like a a dump trailer or a trailer that's just used for kind of work and utility, which is how I'm going to register this. So before I start tacking a bunch of crap on here that makes it look like more than just a dump trailer, I need to get this thing um, wired up and legal so I can go down and get it inspected and uh, get a new VIN number for it and then um, registered with the state. So that's kind of like my next goal, I'm kind of shifting gears here. 
So the light plan um, that I've kind of figured out here is as such. So we have um, the brake light, reverse lights, and then you have your side marker light and or side, I guess, rear side marker light and front side marker light. So these will go um, over here in this place. But as you can see, there is extra holes here from the last light that we're going to work on a day to just kind of go around all the holes really in the vehicle. You got holes here, you know, holes here, all around it to, uh, to try and get it sealed up um, as much as possible just to kind of preemptively do that. So the idea, let's see, let's, let's reg regress here a little bit. Um, the idea on the, bre the back portion here, let me set the camera down. So the idea is going to be, um, original plan was gonna be to grind these off, which I'm still gonna do, but um, I was gonna have these mounted. There's just enough room on this back frame here to mount the both brake, turn signal, and, and, and then the reverse light um, over here, kind of in this fashion. But I also need a light for uh, the license plate. So I found, it's like a, a screw type light that'll go inside here. So it'll go inside this actual piece here and um, shine at the, uh, the license plate. Now that was the next thing is where do I put the license plate, right? So um, first thought was gonna be to have the light kind of, the, 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 the reverse light or the brake light here, have a nut on this point, and then there'll be another one over here, not on this point, and then kind of shining inward on a mounted license plate like this. This is an old plate from back in the day up in the uh, Fairbanks Army days, but um, to give me an idea here. So I was thinking like that, but I'd have to kind of mess with this and figure out a mounting system. So this side already has the hook removed. So I'm gonna, I think, just mount the license plate over here. And the other dilemma was that this brake light or the frame is kind of recessed behind the tail light, tailgate. So the light, I'm not, I don't think it's going to reach it. So I think instead, I'm going to actually mount it in here into the, the tailgate itself, um, and then have a light on each one of these shining toward the, uh, the license plate. The problem with that is that I have to then get the wiring to get back down underneath, um, back up to be powered. So I think I'm gonna wire it um, all to a common uh, center here and then back into the frame and out. And I looked at the tailgate and there's enough uh, play kind of comes outward and there's never any kind of binding situation where I can have a small loop of wire here. And as long as it's protected and sheathed, it should not be an issue to uh, in longevity. So I should be able to leave it like that. So that's kind of the plan for the, the light system right now. And I'm, uh, planning on as we go to add more lights, um, I think I'll have these two reverse lights. I'm going to mount them as far to the right as possible because I think I can still put maybe in another one for uh, additional rear lighting um, here. And I may even wire those to a switch or if we're camping or whatever, I can flip those on from back here and uh, have some valid light. So that's kind of the idea right now. We're just going to go around and kind of get all the get all these holes, like I said, um, squared away to where it's a nice clean clean the starting surface to get this knocked out. So.
Right, well, that took way longer than I had thought. So um, here you go, here's, here's the look, see what, what, what went down. Um, maybe we can get some light, there we go. Let's see the welds that I filled here. Yeah, so um, it uh, took way longer than I had thought. I think on the other side, I'm gonna put some, uh, some scrap sheet metal. I'm gonna put it on the back side to try and fill it up. Um, it's hot, hopefully I can knock those out real quick. All right. Well, we have made progress for the day. <clears throat> so I've got uh, lights on the trailer. They're not powered, but uh, they are there. So kit came with these super long screws with the uh, domed round head and the actual um, assembly has a countersunk head and a hole. I really need a smaller screw. Thankfully I have these screws. They're pretty low grade um, wood screws. Hopefully they, they last the test of time. We will see about that. But uh, yeah, we have the start of uh, the lights and got everything welded and primered out, um, sealed out. So it looks like I need to hit paint that, hit that with some paint. But uh, that's it for this one. Quick little update on what I'm doing here going forward. I'm gonna get the rest of this uh, lighting knocked out and then head down to the DMV to get this thing. Um, VIN number on it, registered and legal. So got a little more work, but uh, time is now to get, get ready to head down south to uh, do some calling for coyotes with Ariel. So it's summertime dogging season. So I am letting him lead the way on this one. I don't know much about it. Um, I am bringing smoke along the way, see how it goes, but uh, stay tuned for that video. Um, like I said before, if you like what you're seeing, let me know. Um, let me know if you have some ideas for this thing um, in the comments below. Um, other than that, uh, we'll catch you next time.